to admit that I have a bit of a problem with this passage. And if you're honest, maybe you do too. The idea that we are to commit to God because God does the dirty work for us, takes care of the enemies, well, that kind of show of force and violence is you know, kind of persuasive, isn't it? Persuasive in all the wrong ways. It's hard to come to God of a free will, out of love, if that's the way things are. So maybe, well, maybe the victors are writing the history here. And the truth of the matter is that there is goodness all around the people. Goodness enough to commit to God, to be thankful for every day, even those days back in Egypt, even those days out in the wilderness. Maybe today we can look around and see the goodness that is ours, and it's really a matter of perspective. Do we fear God in a way that means that there will be punishment? Or is fear of God really better translated as being in awe of God, looking in wonder and amazement that there is so much more than we can comprehend, so much love to embrace us, and maybe even the enemies that we think God took care of on our behalf. <laughs>